shake. <clears throat> Today we got a bunch of stuff we're going to try to do. Um, if we get time, I'm going to try to install this hitch I have. This is off my old uh, 85 C10 that I sold uh, two years back now, I think. And as you can see, it's got this, it's got this dimple right here. So I hope it's going to clear the spring hangers on the 4x4 frame. If not, then that'd suck. And I guess it would end up on the 84, but I'm trying to get it so I can get it on the 77. This is the rest of the 77's exhaust, the last piece, the tailpipe. Uh, right now I got it coming out by the step, so I just wanted to do like a little turn down thing and kind of shoot it down so it doesn't get all up in the body. But who knows? Um, what else? Leaks. We got leaks. Look at that. Oh, great. <clears throat> Front differential leak. Um, yeah. I use my trick that uh, you put um, Marvel Mystery Oil, you soak the gasket in Marvel Mystery Oil, and then you put it on. I guess I didn't clean the mating surfaces good enough, or for whatever reason, it's not sealing properly. Uh, that trick works on engines all the time. That's what I use on my engines all the time, but for whatever reason, I don't know, maybe the cover is a little bent or something like that. It's not working, so I'm going to have to take it all apart again. And I guess I'll coat it in... Uh, a real thin layer of RTV. Uh, I don't do the bead thing. I put it on and then I'll spread it around with like a disposable knife or something like that. And just do it really, really thin, keep it away from the inside. I really don't like to use RTV, but I had to do it on the back cover because it was a little bent, so I guess I'll just reuse it and do it on the front here. And a little bead on the uh, fill hole because it looks like that's leaking too on the threads. But as you can see, these are kind of a pain in the ass to fill because you got this. Uh, the tie rods right there and you can't get to it so I picked up this nifty little thing I was at the store getting another gasket and uh, some uh, fluid because I'm not gonna be able to save this because it wasn't it's not gonna be clean when it comes out it's gonna have contaminants uh, so I picked this up and it, it threads on it's got like a little washer in there it threads on to the uh, gear oil bottle or oil bottle or whatever and it's got this nice big tube on it to fill up and stuff like that because as you can see you don't really have a straight shot with a gear lube bottle. You kind of have to bend, so I'm going to give this a try. It looks like it'll work cool. It's got a nice little shut off on it and everything. And you know, It's only like a dollar, so I figured why not give it a shot. I tried making one the other day. As you can see on my gear oil bottle here, I used a piece of, um, what the hell is this, fuel line. Fit it on one end, and then I... Um, angle cut this end to keep it from blocking up and flowing better trying to allow a little air to get in to help it flow better but it was two degrees out and the stuff was cold and it wasn't flowing very well at all and um, it just did not work that good so I'm guessing because of the small diameter of this tube and uh, yeah so that didn't work so I'm hoping that this is going to work um, and my gear was all full of water but that doesn't matter um, so yeah, we're going to try to do that today, fix that, uh, fix the exhaust leak in the Y pipe for now, I got like a temporary bandage thing, until I get a welder, which should be in the next couple of days. Um, this thing, it's like a piece of, uh, like tin or something like that, and it wraps around and it's got like these funky band clamps. So I'm hoping that's going to shut that thing up because it's pretty annoying and pretty loud. And here's our rot situation. If you look, that's original paint on the floor. I mean, the floor is in great shape except for this area in the kick panel here. I suspect this is caused because of um, water and moisture from people's feet. And it's a rubber mat floor, which is great because if it was carpet, it probably would have rotted the whole damn floor out. But it ran down and pulled in this area causing the rot. Um, another reason could have been that uh, plugged up vents up in here. This is where the water drains off the cowl inside this panel. Between the fender comes down and shoots out the bottom. And the reason I think that is because it's rotted on the outside. As you can see, ooh yay fun. So you can see the bottom of the rocker's shot, the door shot, but that might be a different reason. And look at this loveliness. Yay, rust. 
fun. So yeah, it's all rotted right down the bottom of the fender. I can guarantee that's because of a plugage of leaves or God knows what. This cab support shut. It's okay, we can get a replacement. They're fairly cheap. And we still have this support right here, so we're okay. Uh, here you can see the, the rocker rot slash floor rot. We got a little starting back here. This whole section up here where all these wires go, which is not good. The reason that's why my brakes work in immediately. Uh, so, and then the floor is strong about here, so we'll put a, we'll cut this out, re-weld that, uh, and then the front cab portion right here in the kick panel, we'll weld that, uh, 73 to 87ChevyTrucks.com sells a uh, whole kit for this, it's like the rock of the cab corner, section of floor, section of kick panel, all that for like 60 something bucks, so.